my the rest of my Stalazi, 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 my the rest of my Stalazi collections. I look like I was about to eat it. I didn't eat it. No, I just put a swatch on my hand. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my makeup show Dallas haul for y'all today. It was a really fun event as always. I love the shopping. I love the time with friends and meeting you guys. So it was another great event and I got some goodies. I bought some myself and then I received a swag bag, which I never take for granted. I'm always so, so grateful for those things. So I was super excited to get those things. So I'm gonna run through the different things that I purchased myself first and then I'll do the swag bag at the end. So let's jump into it. First off is a little bit random because I didn't actually purchase this at Makeup Show. I bought this at the Mac store the day before when Ashley and Mallory and I went and I totally copied Mallory. She was swatching things and I saw this on her hand and I was like, what is that? That's really pretty that I want that. This is the lip gloss in Oh Baby and it's just a pretty kind of like brown bronzy sort of shade. Really, really pretty. Um, I'm just thinking use this as a topper over like a brown or a nude because it's just got that kind of like subtle bronzy look to it. So I really like this. And over at the Friends Beauty booth, I made myself another palette of Stilazzi shadows. I love these. I think they're such nice quality, super affordable. At the show, I think that they were like $2 individually, which is amazing. But even online, I think they're like $3.50 or so a piece. I think maybe even, I think some of them might be $3, some $3.50, something around there. They're super affordable. This is a really colorful palette somehow. I really didn't mean to do that, but I have a lot of these already, so I was looking at my list and these were the ones, these were some that I didn't have that I thought were really pretty. So I'm gonna run through them really quickly. This is MB19, MB18, MS47, MS36, MS27, PS34, PS43, PS02, PS03, PS40, PS22, PS17, PS08, and PS11. And I do have a whole video on the other ones that I have, like my the rest of my Stilazi, 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 my the rest of my Stilazi collection. So if you want to see more swatches of these, check that out. But I do have swatches of these right here. So let me get my lip liner pointer so that we can go through these. So this one is, let's see, where am I starting? No, I'm starting down here. Okay, this one is MB19, MB18, um, MS47, MS36, MS27. This down here is PS34, PS43, PS02, PS03, PS40. Then over here, that is PS22, PS17, PS08, and PS11 right there. So they're all just super pigmented. I think they're great quality, especially if you are a makeup artist who is trying to build up their kit. I think that these are a great thing to start with for shadows. And I actually keep them in my kit too and think that they're just awesome quality. I mean, they perform really, really well, and they're super affordable. At the Friends Beauty Booth, they had a bunch of different brands. So they had Stilazzi, they had Lorac, they had The Balm, they had Jouer. So I got one of the Long Wear Lip Creams, and this is in Noisette, Noisette, and it's a really pretty kind of like neutral brown sort of color, and this smells really, really good. Like, a little bit sweet, a little bit vanilla, just kind of like cake or candy or something. It smells incredible and I've heard really good things about this formula. So super excited to try that. The Mustache Counter, they had some really pretty pigment type things. These are the Color Powder Moonlights and this is in Champagne. And the swatch is not doing it justice, but on the tester where they had, cause mine's all nice and clean, on the tester that had like, you know, a lot of product to be able to like try it with, I look like I was about to eat it. I didn't eat it, no. I just put a swatch on my hand. <laughs> so after swatching it with my hand there, it looked really, really pretty. Here it's not looking super impressive, but it was beautiful when I was swatching it, so I just need to get more product out. But it's a really gorgeous, kind of like peachy sort of a pigment with some really pretty shimmer in it. I'm really excited about this. I have a lot of these kind of products, but 
they make me super happy. So that's why I have quite a few of them because I love to use them, especially for special occasions. I got a couple glitters from Eye Candy. I love their glitters. I think they are so nice and they're more affordable. That's why I really like theirs. So first off, I got Caramel Apple and you're probably not gonna be able to see it very well, but I don't wanna get it everywhere. It's a really gorgeous kind of like, almost like green, I don't know, dirty gold, copper. It's just a really cool combo of colors. I think that one's really fun. And then Candy Corn, this one is kind of like just a really beautiful sort of coppery bronze shade. I really, really like this one. They're all really pretty. They're, if you need some glitters or you're looking for some glitters or wanting some glitters, I would definitely say check theirs out because I think that they have some really good options. And again, they're more on the affordable side. The last things that I purchased were some brushes from Smith Cosmetics. My friend Trisha was there working with them and I know she knows her stuff and she is an amazing makeup artist. So she was just raving about these saying how good they are and how just super unique in their design they are. So I got several different ones. First off, this is the 220. And she said this one's really, really great for like diffusing that kind of harsh line in your crease. So I'm super excited to use that one. I don't have anything like this. So I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. This one's kind of like a pointy, like arrowhead shape sort of a brush. This is 253. That one's a really cool shape. She said that this is great, especially if you have hooded eyes to get into the inner corner. So I'm excited about that one. And then lastly, this is uh, 230. So this is kind of like a skinny crease sort of a brush. And it's more on the tiny side. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. So can't wait to try those out. They seem like really nice quality. Now onto the swag bag that we got at the press preview. Really cute bag even in itself. I really like the bag. So there's a bunch of different stuff in here and I cannot wait to try this all out. First off, they had a little coupon for us to be able to go to the Estee Lauder counter and get matched for, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup and I was matched with 2C3 Fresco, which is I think what my sister wears. Cause right now I have my Double Wear in two, I think it's two, oh, I don't remember what it's called. Desert Beige. Um, and that one can be a little bit dark for me. It's more kind of a summery shade. This one does seem like it's gonna match me better. So this is supposed to be kind of like more of a light coverage, radiant finish. So I will try it out and share my thoughts with you guys. We got a mask from Mustav. This is a moisture lifting pleasure mask. So a nice little sheet mask there, which I love sheet masks because they feel like a very like spa-like experience or something. So it's nice to have another one of those. Um, this is the Tim2 Metallic Glitter Set. So you get the mixing medium and the gold glitter. I love glitter, so I'm excited about this. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried anything from Tim2, so I will let you know what, what I think about that. Then I got the Veil Light Infused Cosmetics Sunset Light Primer Serum Mixing Base. So in the press preview, um, James Vincent was saying he's really not much of a fan of primers usually, because most of them are silicone based. and I'm not really much of a primer girl either. Like I just don't really like primers, most of them. I love the Murad one, but a lot, well, I have a couple favorites, but overall I don't love, love primers. So this is supposed to be more of a water-based primer. So I'm really excited to try this and see how I like this because he said he really, really likes it. So I will report back. Another primer that he said he really likes is the Senna Moisture Drop Gel Primer says it's infused with water and argon oil. So I will try this out and let you guys know as well. Let me show it to you in the packaging. So just a really pretty like sleek black packaging. So yeah, some good primers to try out. Then we got the Amica Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I love this, I've tried it before. I think it's great. Helps to kind of recondition the ends of your hair on like second, third, whatever day hair. My ends and I think a lot of people's ends end up getting kind of dry so this kind of helps revive that and it also smells really good. We got a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. We got a couple of brushes. One is from Delium Tools. This is the um, Duo Fiber Large Tapered Blending Brush. So I don't think I've tried this one from them. I've, I have a lot of Delium Tools brushes and I use them on the regular. So I don't think I've tried this one. So I will report back to you on that. I'm sure I will love it because I love their brushes. This is the Cosette. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. 
in D220. Just looks like a really nice crease brush and like a tiny kind of pointy crease brush, which I like them when they're like that because they have hooded lids. So it kind of helps get in there and doesn't like those bigger blending brushes just poof product everywhere on my eyes and I don't need poofed product all over my eyes. I got this little set from Twin Medics. It is the Pro Essentials. So it has um, A15, it says with pure vitamin A, C10 with pure vitamin C, E5 with pure vitamin E, 02 Oxygen Skin Transformer, and X Smart Exfoliator. And it kind of goes into more details, but kind of a different little like, sounds like a little skincare set. So I will try that out. Um, I got a, this is a Kevin Aquan The Expert Mascara, and this is in Blood Roses. Ooh, it's kind of a serious sort of a name. So really pretty packaging, nice gold packaging. I don't think I've ever tried a mascara from Kevin Aquan. I haven't tried much from Kevin Aquan. I think the only stuff I've tried has been in swag bags, probably from makeup show. I got the Lock On Lash Super Bonding Latex Free Adhesive, and this is in black, so when I give lashes a go the next time, I will give that a go as well. I got something from um, Voodoo Makeup, and I don't actually know what this is 100%, but I think it's kind of like an under eye brightener. I put it right there. It's a cream product, and it looks kind of like a concealer, but it's a little bit pinky toned. It says on the back, 10 years younger. Gluten-free, patent pending, so... I'm guessing it's kind of like an under eye concealer, eye brightener sort of thing. Crown brushes, we got the Ultra Skinny Eye Marker, and this is in black, so I don't wanna open it and start drying it out yet, but I will definitely use that. And then Makeup Forever gave us the Artist Liquid Stain, and this is in 942, so it's kind of, looks like this, and then you pull it out and it's got like the um, sorta of kinda of doe foot applicator type of a deal. And it, it just kind of seems like a glossy stain sort of a product. So it's right there. Love the color. Like really pretty kind of like pinky raspberry sort of color. Really, really pretty. Then we got the lip gloss. Just says lip gloss. Ultra Luxe Lip Gloss. It says endless colors. I love the packaging on this thing. I think it is so pretty. It's like a click up kind of a thing. Now the end of it seems a little bit strange because it's just straight plastic at the end. So when I was trying to swatch it, I wasn't really getting an even swatch. So that's a little bit funky. I don't know the color name of this. Uh, oh, here we go. Lover's Sweet. So Lover's Sweet. Pretty color. I really like the look of the packaging, but we'll see kind of like how that works on my lips. It's a really cool kind of like red, bronzy gold metallic sort of shade. That's fun, especially for fall. This thing is awesome that we got from Mayron. This is the Contour Highlight Pressed Powder Palette. It just has a bunch of different colors in here for highlighting and contouring for a lot of different skin tones. So perfect for a freelance kit or a makeup artist. So this seems really nice and compact. So I will try that out and let you know about the formula of these. Um, I don't think I've ever tried anything face product wise from Mayron that I can think of. I don't even know if I've tried anything from them before. Maybe I have and I'm just forgetting. And the thing that I was probably most excited about, we got a set of mini liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D, which I love her line. So I was really excited to see something from her in there. So let me run through the different colors. This is Santa Sangre. I know I'm butchering that, this red color. This is Mother, this is Love Sick, Backstage Bambi, Love, Echo, and these two over here are new. This is Plath, and that last one is Roxy. So really fun colors, really bright. I'm probably most excited about Plath. That looks really, really, really pretty. And also I really like that red as well. And I already love um, Mother and Love Sick. I think those are both beautiful and they're really pretty layered together. All right guys, so that wraps up this haul. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below your thoughts on any of these products. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.